Great. Thank you. My name is Peter Mullen. I'm a West Coast Business Development Representative for Bizimo. Uh I've yet to hear somebody for the first time mention the company name or uh, say the company name correctly. It's a uh, startup based out of Tel Aviv. Uh, recently launched in the U.S. about four months or so ago. Uh, Bizabo is a uh, multi-event uh, networking app. A um, number of you might be familiar with the genre already. Uh, but when you go to a large conference, you know, small, medium, uh, you never know who you want to meet. Um, you're kind of left to the vagaries of serendipity to meet who you want to meet. So uh, Bizabo helps solve a number of those problems. Uh, some events will uh, create a dedicated app uh, for many, many thousands of dollars. Bizabo has a freemium model and can work across different events. You only have to download one app. Um, there are two major components to it. One is the event organizer dashboard where the um, events can be set up. Uh, I'm going to uh, demonstrate the mobile component here. Uh, when you download the app, um, you can do a quick search, either discovering events close by, um, and you see a number of events here, some you might be familiar with. Here's SB New Tech. Uh, I'm not going to show that one because it wasn't really an official app. I'll show the uh, Marketo Summit, uh, which is going to be happening next week, They've, they're taking full advantage. Uh, you initially authenticate through LinkedIn, and this is a professional networking app. It's not a toy, it's not highlight, it's not stocky or anything like that. Um, you join the community, you um, download the app, and you do what's called join the community. So I'm going to, um, on Joe's behalf, I'm going to allow him to join the Marketo community saying he's going, you will be automatically prompted to share it with your social networks, which you have already authenticated. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say no thanks, but you have the ability to toggle on and off you know, the, your various social networks. So I will say no thanks to that um, for Joe. And then what you do is you can see who else has joined the community. Uh, I'll go ahead and close that. You do have the ability to invite some of your other friends. But what this does is you can see who else has joined the community. And then um, since it's fed by LinkedIn, it will give you uh, the ability to view their LinkedIn profile and to uh, send a connection request if you're so inclined. Um, you can send a private message. We've created a default message, but you can obviously um, delete that and override. Um, you, get, you, get the, you get the idea. Um, another thing you can do is you can flag them as a lead for um, you know, to take care of something perhaps later on. Okay, another thing is they have the ability to put the agenda out there. And so in this case, the uh, Marketo Summit has a full three-day agenda with speaker bios, etc. And you can do things like add one of those um, breakouts to your calendar. And for a notification, just so you won't miss it. Um, let's see how do we get? Oops, not exactly steeped. We'll go ahead and just mark that one as a favorite, and then we will uh, see. Can't quite figure out how to go back. Um, I'm an Android guy, and I'm using Joe's phone, so please uh, bear with me on that. Uh, show tabs. What's that? Show tabs. Oh, show sure, tabs. There you go. Thank you. Ah, there we go. Okay, another thing that's really cool here is the ability for um, sponsors to put information out there. So these are all the sponsors that are on the Marketo Summit. And let's just uh, pick one. Hey, Microsoft, by, by chance. Um, so you have the ability to build communities through Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, but also the ability to push promotions out during an event as well. So, um, you know, all in all, a pretty cool feature set. Here's another cool feature set, and it's the Messages tab. And what, uh, Joe, you don't have much of a history here, but you have the ability to archive all the messages that you sent back and forth from all your events that you've particularly, you know, joined in, um, in past times. So again, just back to the, um, back to the uh, home screen again. This is the, um, the featured set up here so that, um, which you know, companies can pay to have um, you know placement up there. Here's SF Beta. Uh, Joe, you haven't joined that one either. But uh, since this is opt-in, you have to also have the ability to leave the community if you don't want to keep your maintain. Um, which leaves me to the end of the five minutes. That's quite. <laughs> uh, guarantee that I won't run over uh, when you use the uh, you use the uh, event promoters. 
um, device. So any uh, any questions? Yes, go ahead. How do you mine all the events going on? Uh, the question was, how do you mine all the events? Uh, a couple of things. is One is we have the ability to take the Eventbrite feed and actually do that. But um, anybody in the community can actually make Bizabo an app. Just by going to the Bizabo um, website, there's a big green button that says start here. And anybody can put any event up there. And you just provide the link, provide the event information. You can upload a logo and then save it and then make it live. You will be asked to check one of the boxes at the bottom, which is I'm either the event organizer or I'm not the event organizer. Um, so then that will that will place it out there. So any any meetup, any you know official event ride or any other um, you know event that's that's fed by another ticketing system, whether it's Ticket Leap or Amiando in Europe or anything like that, can be added by anybody. It's better it's best to be added by the event promoter because then they have a lot of other promotional tools that they can use to what they call socialize the event. Yes? How do you deal with the uh, event organizer wanted to put it on there after someone else has already put it on there? Um, the question is, is how does the event organizer basically assume ownership of an event that somebody else has put out there? All they have to do is send a, send a note to support at visibo.com, just you know, designate themselves as the event organizer with just an email back and forth and then we'll go ahead and designate you as the owner of that particular event. You can make whatever changes are necessary. To actually set up an event literally only takes a couple of minutes. The, the most time consuming thing is to put the agenda up there depending on how complex it is. I have a question. Uh, uh, yes. So, so this is really cool. So how do I prevent somebody from actually just downloading the app and then joining a whole bunch of events that they're not actually at and then spamming people or people like that are actually at the um, right well there are a couple of things one is is the event organizer has the ability to designate in his event as private okay and then that way the the event will be passworded so if you want to if you want to keep your community closed then you have the ability to do that um, again for the events that are more open and not passworded or not private then yeah we are subject to that that problem um, all you have to do is send an email to us and we can block you know whatever user might be particularly rogue or spammy or whatever because yeah they do certainly do have the ability to send messages and send LinkedIn requests to everybody and um, I'm sure we you know as event promoters you're probably used to yeah, <laughs> some we, of those we do and, get that a lot on that's a good, good, good question. Uh, any, any more questions? All right, thanks. Hopefully you'll all download and look for the events that you like. And, oh, feedback, sure. feedback, get rid of the CAPTCHA, I can't get in. Oh, you don't have anybody else to say <laughs> Somebody, anybody who's a CAPTCHA expert, Drew, uh, Mr. Kuzu, <laughs> he can't get past. That's actually a LinkedIn authentication thing. I don't know why you're uh, suffering that. Uh, I do as well. Uh, yeah, right now it's just it's just uh, Android and um, iPhone for now. Uh, there will be a web version. No plans currently to go to Microsoft or um, BlackBerry, but I do know your evangelist, your developer evangelist, and I know you guys have a lot of money to give, so we're certainly willing to talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note, thank you, Peter. Thank you. <laughs>